unleash your creativity with these three must-try split text effects in CapCut PC. Just like this. To start, go to Stock Materials. Click on Background and drag the black background into the timeline. Now, let's add the text. Navigate to the Text tab and add default text to the timeline. Under the Text Basic Settings, type in your desired text. Choose a bold font and customize the text style to your liking. Click on Bubble and select a suitable bubble style. Then, head to Effects and choose an appropriate text effect. Select both the text and black background video, then click on Create Compound Clip. Next, drag and drop the clips you want to use for your intro onto the bottom layer of the timeline. Select the compound clip, go to Video Basics. Click on Blend and choose either Hard Light or Multiply. Duplicate the compound clip and hide the top track. Now, select the middle clip, go to the Mask options, and choose Horizontal. Move the cursor forward by one second and add mask keyframes. Shift the cursor to the three second mark and drag the mask line all the way up. For the top compound clip, reveal the track. Select it, go to mask options, and choose the horizontal mask. Rotate the horizontal mask by minus 180 degrees. Move the cursor to one second, add mask keyframes and then drag the mask line all the way down at the 3 second mark. Next, we can also lower the opacity of the compound clip a little bit. Now, let's play the video and see the split-screen text effect we've created. We can see that there is a line where the middle is divided. Move the playback cursor to the first keyframe. Select the top layer clip, click split. Select the middle layer clip, click delete left. Then, select the first clip of the top layer, go to Video Mask, and cancel the selection of mask shape. And there you have it, a stunning split-screen text effect for your YouTube intros. Feel free to customize and experiment with different styles to make it your own. Just like this. To begin, navigate to the stock materials, drag the white background into the timeline. Now head over to adjustments and click on curves to adjust the color according to your preference. Duplicate the background layer. Once again, go to adjustments curves and change the color to a different shade for added visual interest. Next, access the video mask feature.
choose the horizontal option and split it diagonally. Moving on to the text tab, add default text to the timeline. Input your desired text. Choose a suitable font and adjust the font size accordingly. Color the text using one of the colors from the background to seamlessly blend it in. Duplicate the text layer, change the text color to the other background color. And create compound clips for each text layer to maintain organization. Select the top text layer, apply a horizontal mask, and split it to enhance the visual appeal of the effect. And there you have it, a captivating halfway split text effect using masks in CatCut PC. Feel free to experiment with different colors and variations to make it uniquely yours. Just like this, I am going to show you how to create a stunning split text effect using CapCut PC. Let's jump right in. To start, go to the text tab and add default text to the timeline. Input your desired text. Select a font. And adjust the text size and style as needed. Next, right-click to create a compound clip. Duplicate the text clip layer and position the duplicate text exactly over the first one. Select one text layer, go to Video, then Mask, and choose Horizontal. Now, select the another text layer, go to Video, then Mask, and choose horizontal. Adjust the rotation to 180 degrees. Move the playhead to where you want the text to start opening. In this case, I'm moving it to the one second mark. Go to Video, then Basic, and add transform keyframes to both text layers. Move the playhead a bit further, around 5 frames forward. For one text layer, drag the text down while keeping the middle line in place. For the other text layer, pull the text up to maintain that middle line. Move the playhead to where you want the text to start closing. And add keyframes to both text layers at that position. Move the playhead a bit further and set the position Y value of both text clips to zero. Now let's play it back and see what we've created. Next, move the playhead to where the text opens, which is the position of the first keyframe. Go to Text, add default text to the timeline, and write your desired text. Choose a font. Adjust the size.
and add some space between the characters if you want. Match the link to your closing text. Move this new text layer under the original text clip layers. Go to Animations and choose Zoom In. Adjust the duration to 0.3 seconds. For animations out, choose Zoom Out and set it to 0.3 seconds. And that's it! I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.